Hello and welcome to the Learn Redis course by Eduonix. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor for this course. So a little bit about myself. I have around 12 years in web development and for about four of those years I've been teaching web development technology courses. Okay, so I specialize in JavaScript server-side web development with languages like PHP and platforms like Node.js as well as some database administration. I also have many other courses available at eduonix.com if you're interested. So in this course we'll be focusing on the open source Redis data structure server or database. All right, so some of the things we'll touch on, what is Redis? We'll talk about uh, essentially what it is and what it's best used for. Uh, Redis is a command-based database, so a lot of this course will be focus on, focusing on the different commands and syntax data structures redis is known to have really efficient data structures like lists and sets and hashes so we'll be focusing on that redis clients uh, we'll take a look at the node.js client and we'll build an application with that in the end so here's some details on the course we have six different sections each section will have between four and six lectures and each lecture will have one video along with uh, a small quiz and any project files for that section. Okay, and then at the end, in the last section, we'll have a project where we'll build a task manager application. So here are the sections. We have the intro to Redis section first, and then we have getting started with Redis, where we'll jump in and install it. I'll show you how to install it on Windows, but for the most part, we're gonna be working in Linux Ubuntu. Section three, Learning Redis commands, we'll talk about commands like get, set, expire, uh, all the basic commands. We'll take a look at some of the configuration commands and so on. Section 4, we'll be working with data types. So we'll be working with commands that have to do with lists and sets and hashes, things like that. And then in Section 5, we'll talk about data persistence. Uh, Redis works with data in memory, but can also persist data to the disk using a couple different methods. So we'll take a look at those. And then finally in section six, we're gonna build a task manager using uh, Node.js along with the Redis client. All right, so that's a quick summary of what you can expect from this course. I really hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video.